There we go. That entire first inning, my microphone was turned off. Well, it's one to nothing, LBJ. Jackson Williams steps in, pitch from Perez, shows Bond right back to Perez on the mound. Throws over to first base in time, first baseman Johnson. There to make the out, and they'll bring up the catcher, Darius Stewart. Since our microphone was off, I'd like to once again say that welcome to tonight's broadcast between the Mayor New Tech Titans and the LBJ Jaguars. I'm sure, if you're watching the first inning, you will. Oh, there was no sound. That was my mistake. As LBJ took an early lead on a Geo Perez single up the middle as Perez delivers to Darius Stewart and he swings and misses for a strike. Perez's pitch to Stewart, takes it upstairs, it's one and one. One pitch to Stewart from Perez. Takes one outside. Two balls, one strike. Defense for the LBJ Jaguars. Maldonado playing catcher. Dimas playing third base. Washington at shortstop. Bisco at second. Johnson at first base. Gio Perez on the mound. Castro playing left field. Wiley playing center field. And Williams playing right. As 2-1 pitch to Stewart is popped up and out of play. It's 2-2. Two and two. Way out of play. The two two pitch from Perez is hitting the air to right field, Williams. Coming over and it drops in front of him and it gets away from him. Perez, sorry, Stewart on his way to second base. He's going to try for third. Right fielder just now picks it up. And they're going to hold him in there with a one out triple. I'll bring up the pitcher, Daniel Alden Cortinez. Chance to help himself out. First pitch is swung on and missed. Foul back, actually. And only in high school baseball where you see the pitcher on both teams batting number two and number three. Unless your name is Shohei Otani, you don't see that in the big leagues. 0-1 pitch to Daniel is on the ground at the third baseline. Third baseman has it, looks home, decides just to go to first base to get the easy out, surrendering the run. So Darius Stewart scores, and we have ourselves a tie game. Give an RBI and help himself out to Daniel Alden Cortinez. So base is empty with two out for the designated hitter, Caden Easley. Pitch from Perez misses way upstairs for a ball. The 1 0 pitch to Caden. Takes from the outside. Caden chokes the bat up high. 
as he swings at a 2-0 pitch. The second baseman can't come up with it. Second baseman Biscal may have lost it in the sun. So Caden checks in with the two-out single. That'll bring up third baseman Matthew Ruiz. As pitch gets away from Maldonado and Caden will scoot on over to second base. So runner in scoring position for Matthew Ruiz. So Matthew now with the chance to give LB, not LBJ, Matthew, the Maynard to check the lead. As Perez will look back over to second base. The pitch misses outside. Oh, they're going to call a strike. Matthew waiting for 1-0 pitch. Runner at second base, that's Caden. As looks like on second base, throws back over to second and diving back safely is Caden as was caught off the back a bit too far, but Bisco was not back over at second base in time. Matthew still waiting for his 1-0 pitch. The throw is Ground ball, right to Biscoe at second base. It goes in between his legs. They're going to send Caden home. There'll be no throw. <laughs> Titans take the lead. It's two to one. <laughs> Ruling that one an error on Biscoe. It went right between his legs, Bill Buckner style. And that'll bring up Braylon Thomas, the first baseman. Two hits and an error have given the Titans the lead. Thought I go to first base, and Ruiz is back in safely. Skaden had a monster lead off a of second base, and with two two outs, was running the whole way. And coach sent him throw over second base, trying to see will be not back. We're not nearly in time as Matthew Ruiz is still in second. It's a runner in scoring position once again for the Titans. Pitch to Braylon is fouled away. Pitch to Braylon, in there for a strike. I can safely say it's a one-two count as I lost track. Titans in front, two to one over the Jaguars. The two-one pitch, it gets away from Maldonado and they're gonna send him home. There will be no throw at the plate. Hold on a minute, then they're gonna say that one was fouled. As Matthew Reese will make the way back over to second base. Actually, he will stop at third. Not sure why he didn't, wasn't allowed to come home on that one. Ball must have gotten caught in the fence. So runner at third base on a 2-2 count to Braylon Thomas. Perez's pitch over to Thomas is popped up and out of play. We'll do it again as you can see Matthew, maybe not in the camera shot too well. So you can see him kind of dancing around there. Well, 
Ailing with the 2-2 count. Here's the pitch from Perez on the ground, but foul of the first baseline. We'll do it again. Two-two pitch on the right-hander is swung on and missed for strike three, and that will end the inning. First strikeout for Gio Perez. However, the Titans score two on the Caden RBI single, and then Caden scores on the error by the second baseman Biscos. After one complete, our score: the Titans two, Jaguars one. Listening to Mayor New Tech. Titans baseball on the Vite Media Network. Keep it here. There we go, top of the second inning here at East Metro Park. It'll be Miguel Dimas, Israel Castro, and Visco due up for the Jaguars. Pitches ground ball up the middle. It's off the glove of Daniel, and he can't find it after that, so infield single for Dimas. So we're at first base with no one out for Castro. First pitch misses low and inside. Miguel Dimas over at first base. The okay lead ground ball to short. Short stop over to second for one on to first and not in time. So Cyphers to Silva and it will make the turn fast enough so Nemus is out and Castro reaching on a fielder's choice. Now I'll bring up the second baseman Visco. One away here in the top of the first inning. Let's probably go to first base, not in time. One no pitch misses low, two balls, no strikes. Go to first, almost, and because he's out. <laughs> They're saying Castro is out. He did not want to leave the bag. So Castro is picked off at first base. So now two out and no one on for Bisco. 
the pitch misses upstairs. Going on two outs here in the top of the second inning. The pitch is upstairs. So three balls, no strikes to Bisco. The pitch misses low, ball four. And Bisco reaches on a walk first free pass given up by either team. Back at the top of the order, it'll be uh, Faye Washington. Who had a single his last time up and then came around to score. So far, the only run of the game for the Jaguars. Interesting inning so far as first pitch Washington misses upstairs. It's one ball, no strikes. Inning began with an infield single, infield single was off the glove of the pitcher, Daniel. And then almost a double play turned into a fielder's choice and then picked off Castro at first base as Lou 1-0 pitch is in there for a strike. It's one and one. And then Bisco. Doesn't take the bat off his shoulder for four consecutive pitches. He draws a free pass. 1-1 one, one pitch is low, two balls, one strike. Two one pitch misses inside, backs off Washington, but a very borderline pitch. Three one, and they in there for strike two is Washington. Looked with bated breath for a minute there. Payoff pitch on the ground, right back to Daniel up with it, throws over to first base in time for the final out of the inning. LBJ has a couple base runners, but they do not score. We'll head to the bottom half of the inning. Our score, Titans two, Jaguars one. Listening to Mainer New Tech, Titans baseball on the Vite Media Network. Bottom of the second inning here for Maynard New Tech leading the Jaguars two to one. It'll be seven, eight, nine, two up. For the Titans, it'll be Andrew Cyphers, Camden, Camden Perez, and Jonathan Maldonado. Cyphers will step in. Cyphers waiting for a first pitch as he lines one into left field, backs up Castro, and he makes the catch on the run for the first out of the inning. Cyphers turned on it. But run down was Castro. The 
And that'll bring up Camden Perez. And his first pitch to Perez misses. It's one ball, no strikes. Pitch from Perez is swung on on the ground. Washington up with it. Throw back to first base will be not in time, and it gets away from the first baseman. Turning is Perez, trying to get over second base. The throwback over to second will be not in time. <laughs> well, on the Jaguar side, can't believe it. And the coach for LBJ is out of the dugout. Very close play over at first base, Coach Halliday. Coming out and have a conversation with the umpire. As it stands right now, roll that one an infield single. An error causing Camden to make his way over to second base. It was a very close play as Camden was busting down the line when the ball got away. He took a very aggressive turn. He was already almost into the outfield grass before he turned. And I've seen them discuss this before, uh, arguing and it very rarely do they get overturned, as the umpire may talk to home plate umpire. But it will not be overturned. So runner in scoring position for the Titans for the nine-hole hitter, Jonathan Maldonado. So Perez over at second base with one out. Very generously as the first pitch to Maldonado is in there for a strike, catches the corner. Throw back over to second base and he'll be back safely as Washington was standing on the second base bag. Noel Perez still with a very sizable lead out there. And it took a while for Perez to finally make a throwback over to second base. Perez once again setting that lead. Washington getting back over towards second. It's a ground ball right back to Washington. He can't pick it up. The throwback over to first base. It will get away. They're going to send Perez home. First baseman Johnson up at it. Throwback to home play will be not in time. And it's 3-1 to one Titans as Maldonado will advance over to second base. Not sure what to rule Maldonado on that one. They have to one again get some hit and rule an error on Washington. But for the Titans, they lead three to one over the Jaguars. And back to the top of the order is Jackson who bunt grounded out to Perez in the top half of the, the bottom half of the first thing. Third go second base will be not in time as Maldonado gets back. Pitch to Jackson is popped up. Catcher can't find it. I couldn't find it either. And I realized that that was actually a very low hit. It basically, it could have hit me where I'm sitting right behind home plate, but thankfully it didn't. It's 0-1 to Jackson with Maldonado at second base with one out here in the bottom of, of the second inning. Titans leading 3-1 over the Jaguars as the pitch of Jackson misses low. As you can see, Washington and Bisco, the shortstop at second baseman respectively, keep inch back over second base waiting for a throw. Pitch from Perez is cut on and missed by Jackson. It's one and two. Uh, throw back over second base, not in time. Maldonado back safely. And 
Jackson waiting for a 1-2 pitch. Washington back at second base waiting for a throw. Will not come. Pitch from Perez. Misses upstairs. Throw over to second base. Maldonado back safely. As Washington keeps the tag applied, and Maldonado wisely keeps his foot on the bag. I got burned by that once. My one season playing Little League, I hit a double, got second base, close play, and took my foot off the bag, thinking you could do that. Once you touch the base, you could not. As Jackson swings one back, fouls one back, means two and two. Imagine my shock as a little kid having to walk back to the dugout, being told he was out. So, learned the lesson that day. Maldonado still at second base. 2-2 two -two count to Jackson as Perez steps off the rubber and then we'll do it again. Very big lead for Maldonado. Bisco at second base. The 2-2 two -two pitches hit on the ground to short. Washington up with it. Throw back over to first base will be not in time. They're going to send Maldonado home. The throw gets away from the catcher, Maldonado, as Jackson will wind up at second base. Another infield hit. It's four to one Titans over the Jaguars. Jackson once again winding up at second base. That's three consecutive infield hits in an error causing a runner to come home as well as Runner winding up at second base. And then I'll bring up Darius Stewart. The catcher had a triple in his first at bat and a line drive to Williams. The ball just got away from him out there. Pitch to Williams is hit in the air to right field. It backs up Williams right in the sun. He can't come up with it. Jackson is going to come on home as Stewart will make his way back over to third base with another triple. I'm almost a little bit surprised they didn't send him home. So second at bat for Stewart, and he has two triples in this one. That's the third run that's come across for the Titans. They lead 5-1 to one over the Jaguars. That'll bring up the designated hitter, Daniel Alden Cortinez, who sacrificed the third bases last time up, bringing home Darius Stewart. One out here in the bottom of the second inning. The pitch is floated in there for a strike. Daniel knew it. Four hits in the inning for the Titans. Three runs have come across, only one out. And a hard hit ball to right field as that's a ground ball to short. Off the glove of Washington. And another run scores. Big turn by the designated hitter at first base. And it's six to one, Titans. Can't roll that one anything other than E6 as you know, Maldonado has come out to have a conversation with Perez on the mound. Thank you. Yeah, I read the wrong one. Correction, that was actually the pitcher. I read my lineup card wrong. Daniel Alden Cortinez over at first base. Really, Daniel Chapa into pinch run for him. So now designated hitter will step in. Four runs across. Still over to first first pace as Chop is back safely. Four runs across, four hits. 
the three errors on the Jaguars. Drop it back safely once again at first base. Not a very big lead out there. Bottom of the second inning, one run, one runner at first base. One out. Officially designated hitter, and that one is popped up. Johnson ranging over towards the dugout, who will lay on top of the dugout. Strike one. I go to first base, not in time. Pitch misses outside. Throw over second base will be not nearly in time. As Daniel Chapa with a stolen base, so one out. The runner in scoring position. I think I've said that multiple times in this bottom inning, bottom half of the second inning. Caden chokes the bat high. The pitch is fouled away once again. It's one and two. Two pitch to Caden is on the outside corner, actually outside. The pitch is popped up and out of play. We'll do it again at two and two. One out, Chapa over at second base. Caden waiting for a 2-2 pitch. Here it comes. Pitch misses outside, full count now. To Caden easily. So one, two, one out. Chapa over at second base, pinch running for the pitcher, Daniel Alden Cortinez. Payoff pitch is popped up, should be playable. Johnson, ranging over, gets underneath it, makes the catch for the second out of the inning. Caden puts up a good battle. But he is finally put away and that'll bring up Matthew Ruiz. Reaching on error his last time up. Going all the way over to third base before being left stranded. Seventh batter, sorry, eighth batter to the plate this inning for the Titans. Chapa going and Ruiz can't hold up on the pitch. Pitch to Matthew is low. And the pitch is lined in the center field and that's gonna get down for a base hit. They're gonna send Chapa home. The throw to the plate, actually no, they're gonna hold him up there. Throw was able to get back in time. Perez able to cut it off.
So runners out the corners with two outs, and that will bring up Braylon Thomas, who struck out swinging his last time up. Only strikeout for Gio Perez. Ninth batter to the plate. For well, the Titans leading 6-1. They've scored four times this inning. The tap over at third base, and there's going to allow Ruiz to advance over to second on the fielder's indifference. And the pitch to Braylon was a strike. Pitch misses outside, one and one. Andrew Cypher is on deck. Runners at second and third with two outs. And the pitch is fouled at the third baseline, one and two. So Chap over at third base, Ruiz at second. Fouls are back, stays alive at one and two. Pitch to Braylon is on the ground. Washington has to go underneath his glove. Two runs are going to score. And what has not been a good inning for, this, for the shortstop, Washington, as the Titans now lead 8-1 to one as Chapa scores and Ruiz. Braylon reaching on air by the shortstop. And we go back, to, back around as the Titans have busted my scorecard. Back to Andrew Cyphers, who led off this inning on a hard hit ball to left field, but caught by the left fielder Castro on the run. Throw to first base, not in time. Cyphers fouls it back, it's only one. Cyphers calls time. Amazing me though is that Cyphers ball to the left field is probably the hardest hit ball of the inning. And it led to an out. Swing at the first pitch. A one pitch is ground ball to the left side. Washington has it, throws over to second base. A bit high, be able to come down with it as Bisco for the final out of the inning. However, the Titans send 10 men to the plate. They score six times. So after two completers scored, Titans eight, Jaguars one. You're listening to Wiener New Tech Baseball on the Vibe Media Network. Top of the third inning here for Major New Tech baseball. The Jaguars will send two, three, and one, two, three, and four to the plate. That'll be Gio Perez, Jeremy Wiley, and AJ Maldonado. Perez with a base hit to bring home Washington. So far, the only run that scored 
for the Jaguars. And that was back in the top of the first innings. They took an early lead, and since then it's been all Titans. Perez also was caught stealing. On the first out of the inning. Pitch from Daniel bounces in there and gets away from Stewart. It's one ball and no strikes. Well, no pitch misses inside. Two balls, no strikes. Well, no pitch in there for a strike one. Two balls, one strike to Perez. Playing big leads like this is nice, but sometimes you're the pitcher. You spend a lot of time in the dugout in between innings. The 2-1 pitch on the ground, slow roller. Ruiz up with it. Takes two steps and throws him out over at first base. So Perez is retired. That'll bring up Jeremiah Wiley. Wiley reaching on a base hit his last time up. Slow roller, but foul at the third baseline. <coughs> A one pitch. Fouled at the plate. Stewart looks back to the umpire. Daniel ahead in the count, 0 and 2. O2 pitch. Just catches a piece of that one. Actually, they're gonna say it hits him. Actually, no, it was the O2 pitch swung on and missed. So that is a strikeout for Wiley. However, he reaches on the wild pitch, a second strikeout for Daniel. However, a wild pitch allows him to reach first base. I'll bring up the cleanup hitter, Maldonado. No, the first base not in time. I actually did not write in how Maldonado got out. I do know he's over one today. One pitch misses low as Wiley will advance on over to second base as the ball gets away from Stewart. Well, not a fouls it away. So runner at second base, that's Wiley. Maldonado at the plate. Wiley with a big lead off a of second. Daniel looks him back. Wiley kind of tells his middle infield, Del Silva, hey, you can step over to second base when that happens, so I actually can make a throw. And Silva steps on second, backs off. Cypher is heading over. Throw back off second base. No one's covering. Throws a bit wide, and Cypher is able to grab onto it. to Maldonado is in there for a strike. Throw back over to third base, and it is not in time, so he didn't be able to get the tag on him. Hey, 
as Ruiz thought he had gotten the ball in time. He did. Thought he applied the tag, but finally able to get to the third base for the second time tonight. So back-to-back -back stolen bases. Pitch to Maldonado. His ground ball up the middle and through for a base hit as Wiley comes home to score. It's now 8-2 to two, Titans. We're talking about manufacturing a run as Wiley gets on base due to a strikeout wild pitch. Steals second, close play at third base and the base hit up the middle. So Curtis Johnson will step in now. Hit by a pitch his last time up. Still only one out here in the top of the third inning. Throw to first base as Maldonado back safely. Correction, that is Gary running for the catcher. That one gets away from Seward. They're going to say it came in to hit Johnson for the second time tonight. He's been hit by a pitch. So two on with one out for Noah Williams, who was a strikeout victim his last time up. Pitch misses upstairs. So Maldonado, excuse me, not Maldonado, Gary at second base, Johnson at first base with one out. Here in the top of the third inning, ball gets away from Stewart and all the runners are gonna advance 90 feet. So Gary's over at third base, Johnson over at second. So two runners in the scoring position still with only one out here in the top of the third inning. The pitch in there for a strike on Williams. Pitch from Daniel, and that one's in there for a strike as Johnson can't believe it. as Johnson calls time. And he also delivers the pitch. And that pitch looked like it was right there on the corner. Bit unfortunate for the pitcher, Daniel, but Johnson will get to see another pitch. Two, two pitch misses upstairs. My math is correct, that should be a full count. Let's check the umpire, see if he holds up his fingers, and he does, it's a full count on Noah Williams. The payoff pitch misses outside, ball four. Second walk allowed. By Daniel, and the bases are full of Jaguars. For Miguel Dimas, who had a base hit back in the first inning, but was out on a fielder's choice. So only one out in the inning, four set anywhere. Pitch from Daniel is foul back, it's only one. One pitch in there for a strike. The 0-2 as Demas stays alive. Bases are loaded here in the top of the third inning. Only one out. The 0-2 pitch upstairs. Good catch by Stewart. Keeping down from the backstop. So it's Gary Pinch running for Maldonado at third base, Johnson over at second, and Williams at first. The one two, swung on and miss. And no play at first base as the one gets away from Stewart. A big second out of the inning, second strikeout of the inning, third strikeout overall for Daniel. And there's two away now for Castro, who reached on the fielder's choice and was picked off at first base. So 
Alex DeCastro is swung on and missed. The 01 is swung on and missed again. As the Titans are one strike away from getting out of this inning, only allowing one run. The 0 2 pitch to where it sets up outside and gets them to swing and miss. Strike three. Fourth strikeout of the inning, fourth, third strikeout, I think, fourth strikeout overall for the Titans as they go to the bottom of the third inning, leading 8 to 2. Jaguars load them up with one out and only score one run. Listening to Titans baseball on the Vite Media Network. Bottom of the third inning here at Remainer New Tech. Eight, nine, and one due up before the Titans will be Perez, Maldonado, and Jackson. Last inning, the Titans sent 10 men to the plate and they scored six times as a new pitcher is in for the Jaguars. And does it with my book right here. It'll be Miguel Dimas in. To pitch for Perez. See if I can find out who's over at third base and who's over at shortstop now. But I cannot see the numbers. I believe that is Perez now over at second base and Washington out and right. Numbers can be difficult, Caesar. Now I can finally see a number that is Ramirez now over at third base. And I believe Perez will be playing shortstop. You know, it's Miguel Dimez, and it is Perez at shortstop. They will still bring up Miguel, excuse me, talk about Camden Porat. It's eight to two. As Camden steps in, looks at one from Dimez outside. The Titans bust my scorecard. But I'll take that any day. And in with a closed stance, here comes the 0-1 pitch. Looks at one again, bounces in there. It's two balls, no strikes to Perez. Wind is picked up here. There's no real flags out in the outfield to kind of see what it's like, but it's up there. 2-0 pitch in there for a strike. And then Perez waiting for a 2-1 pitch from Dimez. Here it comes as he fouls one away. Two balls, two strikes. The 
The 2-2 pitch misses outside, gets away from the catcher, Maldonado. It's a full count for Haas. Payoff pitch to Camden. Way inside, have to duck away from that one. Ball four. First walk allowed by the Jaguars. And I'll bring up Jonathan Maldonado. Base hit and then reach second base. On an error by the shortstop Washington. Allowing Perez to score. Here's how Perez reached last time. Reaching on an infield single. Ball gets away from the catcher Maldonado as Perez will Walk on over to second base. So runner in scoring position, this time with no one out. As the Titans look to keep the foot on the gas. Perez fakes over to second base. Demas might make the throw, it does not. 1-0 pitch is bunted. It's a good bunt right back to the pitcher. Demas up with the throw to first base will be in time for the out. With Perez advancing over to third base on a sacrifice bunt by Maldonado. Back to the top of the order, it's Jackson who had an RBI single his last time up. Pitch to Williams is inside, that hits him. Ball gets away from Dimez. So runners at the corners, one out for the catcher, Darius Stewart. Ball's low, runner on the go, and he was almost at second base before the catcher was able to pick that one up. So runners at second and third, that's Jackson at third base, Perez at, sorry, Jackson second base, Perez at third. And it's a 1-0 count to Darius Stewart, here it comes. Pitch is in there for a strike, it's one and one. One pitch is low. Doesn't get away from Maldonado. One out, runners on second and third base in the bottom of the third inning. Titans leading eight to two over the Jaguars. Here's the pitch outside, and they're gonna hold the runner at third base. I think he would have had a shot at home for Raz, but hesitated just for a moment. As the pitch was in there for a strike for Darius Stewart. So 2-2 two -two count now to Stewart with Barnes at second and third. 2-2 two -two pitch is on the ground through the right side. Now I'll get on through for a base hit. One run's going to score. They're going to hold the runner at third base. RBI single for Darius Stewart. It's third hit of the ninth. After two triples, so Perez comes home to score. Jackson moves over to third base. It's nine to two. The pitcher, Daniel Alden Cortinez, reached on a error back in the second inning that allowed a run to score. Runner going, the pitch is fouled away. Daniel couldn't hold up on the pitch. Darius will have to Make the walk back over to second, or first base, I should say. Pitch misses upstairs. I mean, no throw over to second base. Fielder's indifference. So they will allow Darius Stewart Walt send in over to second. 
The Titans looking to put a 10 on the board here in the third inning. 1-1 one, one pitch is swung on and missed. Daniel went fishing after that one. Runners at second and third once again with one out. Daniel at the plate. Looking at a 1-2 pitch. Here it comes. Misses way upstairs. Maldonado getting out of his crouch to catch that one. As time's called. As Darius Street having a conversation with the umpire at second base. Not sure what was going on there, but it's a 2 2 to Daniel from Dimez. Here's the pitch outside. Good take by Alden Cortinez. And it's a full count. Caden easily on deck. Pitch is way inside, and that hits Daniel. So officially will that hit by a pitch, but it would have been a walk regardless, even if he had gotten out of the way. So bases full of Titans here in the bottom of the third inning for the designated hitter. An RBI single back in the first inning popped out to first in the second. As he will once again get Daniel Chapa to in the pinch run for Daniel Alden Cortinez. So Daniel pinch running for Daniel. We have Jackson at third base, Darius Stewart at second, and Daniel Chapa over at first for the designated hitter. Chance to really bust this one even more open as the first pitch misses high and inside for a ball. One-o -oh pitch. Fouls it back, it's one and one. Come on, Caden. He holds the bat high, one one pitch. That one's in there for a strike, dropped by Maldonado. And it's a one two count. Bases loaded, bottom of the third inning. Titans leading the Jaguars, nine to two. They've scored every inning so far. One, two pitches on the ground. That's gonna stay fair up the third baseline. Third baseman up with a throw over to first. That's gonna get away from the first baseman. A run's gonna come home, throw it to third base. Will be not in time. He gets away from the third baseman. Another run's gonna score. The bases have been cleared. Jackson scores, Darius Stewart scores, and Daniel Chapa scores. It's now 12 to one. Titans over Jaguars. How would you rule that one? How would you rule that? Oh, all good. <laughs> Pitch misses upstairs to Matthew Ruiz. The 1-0 pitch misses outside as well. Jaguars, sorry, Titans have scored multiple runs every single inning. They've scored two in the first, six in the second, and now they have another four spot in this inning as that one is golfed out to right field for a base hit. They're going to hold Caden over at first base, or third base, excuse me. As Reese picks up his second hit tonight. That'll bring up Braylon Thomas. Thomas reached on air back in the second inning and struck out in the first. Only one out this inning, and that was on a sacrifice by Maldonado. 
Eight batters have been sent to the plate. The pitch will in there for a strike, and once again, they'll allow Ruiz to advance over to second base. Fielder's indifference. And once again, round ball to the right side. That's going to be underneath the glove of Johnson as a run scores. They're going to send home Ruiz. Another run's going to score. It's 14-1. Hayden scores, or he scores, as Braylon reaches once again on an error. And for the second inning in a row, the Titans have scored six runs and have sent at least nine batters to the plate as Andrew Cyphers will step in now. Cyphers is 0 for 2, reaching on a ground into a fielder's choice over the first base. It gets away from the first baseman. And up with it is Braylon Thomas. He's going to advance on over second base. Is he going to try to go over to third? He actually, he dives into second. May have had a chance at third base, but deciding to dive to second base. Only a wise decision. Pitch to Cyphers, misses, misses outside. That one's fouled away. It's one and one to Cyphers. Raylan Thomas over at second base, and the man who got this inning started with a walk, and then Perez on deck. Barring the weird, this will be the second inning in a row. The Titans will send six batters to the plate as fake throwback over to second. Braylon Max safely. Wind's really picking up and hitting me right in the face. It's a little chilly out here. And that one's a ground ball. That is going to go foul up the first baseline. A little bit unlucky on Cypher as that one had just stayed fair. Would have been runners out their corners. One out here in the bottom of the third inning. Runner at second base, 14 to two Titans. Second inning in a row, they've scored six runs. Looking to add on. One, two pitches, foul away. And we'll do it again. The pitch is ground ball to the right side. First baseman has it. There'll be no play over at first base as Demas wasn't able to get over in time. So a base hit by Cyphers. Puts Braylon over at third base. Well, runners at the corners of one out. And the man who got this inning started is once again, they have busted my scorecard again. 10 batters to the plate, still only one out. For Camden Perez, who walked to begin this inning as stealing second base on indifference is Cyphers. Every single batter, with the exception of Maldonado, Jonathan Maldonado has reached this inning and he sacrificed as the pitch is fouled away. Pitch misses outside, it gets away from Maldonado, and a run, another run's gonna score, the seventh run of the inning. For the Titans, as Braylon Thomas comes home, Cypher is moving over to third base. So Cypher's over at third base. The pitch to Perez is in there for a strike. Two two count to Perez. Cypher's over at third. The two two pitch 
is outside. It's a full count to Camden Perez. Seven runs have come across this inning. As I mentioned earlier, the only batter to not reach is the batter that's on deck currently, and that's Maldonado. Only one that's been out. 3-2 pitches way inside over the head of Perez. Ball four. He began his inning with a walk, and he's walked twice so far as Perez has reached three times tonight on a single and two walks. Now I'll bring up Maldonado with a sacrifice bunt his last time up as we'll probably see Perez running here. And they'll probably allow him to take second on fielders and difference. Here he goes, the throw to the plate. It gets away from Maldonado as Cyphers will stay over at third base as he was able to get back to that one fast enough. Mitch Maldonado misses outside again. So runner at third, third base and Cyphers. Perez over at second. Pitch to Maldonado way upstairs and inside. It's three and oh, on Maldonado. As Jackson Williams on deck. As Maldonado was taking all the way on that one, it's three and one. Three one pitch way upstairs and inside ball four. And for the second time this inning, the bases are full of Titans. Jackson Williams, earlier this inning, reached on a hit by pitch and scored a run. Now every single batter has reached this inning for the Titans as pitch to Jackson is in there for a strike. Jackson scoring twice tonight and grounded out back in the first inning. Pitch misses inside, it's one and one. So Cypher's over at third base, Perez at second, Maldonado at first. As Jackson looks at one in there, it's one and two. One, two, swung on and missed for strike three. Second out of the inning, first strike out for Demas. And I'll bring up Darius Stewart, who's three for three tonight with two triples and a single. Two away from a cycle. Could get one, one over the fence right here as pitch, pitch misses upstairs. Never in my life have I ever seen a Grand Slam in any level of baseball or softball. Why not see it right now? 1-0 pitch to Stewart. Misses inside. Two zero pitch to Stewart, way inside. It's now a three at zero count. Cyphers at third base, Perez at second, Maldonado at first. Let's see if they give Stewart the green light right here. Three zero pitch. It's one in the air to left field. Underneath it is Castro, and he makes the catch for the final out of the inning. For the first time tonight, Darius Stewart has been retired. However, the Jaguars score seven times, sending, oh my goodness. 
10, 11, 12, 13 men to the plate. Lead this one 15 and two. We head to the top of the fourth inning with our score. Titans 15, Jaguars 2. You're listening to Manier New Tech Titans Baseball on the Vite Media Network. Top of the fourth inning here for Maynard New Tech. As a new pitcher is in for the Titans, that will be Malachi Mathis as Daniel Alden Cortinez move over to third base. Let's see if I can see Matthew Ruiz out there, but it's a little difficult to see these numbers from, from anywhere. It looks like Ruiz has moved on over to second. Looks like the Cypress is still remaining at shortstop. And the first baseman is made the same as well. And what I thought was a new catcher in, turns out was not. The Maldonado and Stewart were still on the base path, so they had someone come in to catch for Mathis. So Stewart is still behind home plate. So the New pitcher in, and that is Malachi Mathis for the Titans. It's Daniel Alden Cortinez over at third base. Cyphers remaining at shortstop, and Matthew Ruiz coming in for Silva. Over at second. It'll be 9-1-2 and two due up for the Jaguars. It'll be Bisco, Washington, and Perez. <laughs> Bisco steps in. He's over two to 9 Actually, no, he walked back in the second inning. Pitch is low. Wind really starting to pick up now. 1-0 oh pitch misses low. So you can probably see some dirt being flown out by the wind. Be able to see much like the quality is you can probably see the wind rustling on the jersey of Mathis on the mound as 2 0 pitch catches the plates, two balls, one strike to Bisco. That one is fouled at the third baseline. It's two and two. 
And also, the only thing you'll probably see in high school and lower, and maybe in college on occasion, and once again, here we show Heotani, a pitcher being replaced and then putting the original pitcher over at third base. Though so it has seen it happen at the pro level as the pitch misses upstairs and inside, full count to Bisco. One time the Tampa Bay Rays, late in the game, wanted to keep Sergio Romo in to face the right-hander. So there's a lefty coming up, so they actually moved Romo over to third base for one at bat as pulled a string on him right there as Mathis gets the strikeout. First strikeout for Mathis, that'll bring up Washington who had a base hit back in the first inning and came around to score. Yeah, so they put Romo over at third base for one at bat. They got the out. And then he comes back in. It does happen. Pitch Washington misses low and outside, gets away from Stewart. Another time a pitcher actually was in for the Cubs. They moved him over to third base, not third base, to the left field. And lo and behold, the ball actually got hit to him, and he made a catch up against the fence at Wrigley Field. Watch that highlight on YouTube. But it is rather rare at the MLB level. Stewart about to pitch a 2-0 to Faye Washington. As Washington flings and misses at a pitch in the dirt, it's 1-2. and two. Correction, 2-1. Two and one. The 1-2 in there for a strike. Got backwards once again. It's now two and two. It was someone, right? Just took me a while. Two-two pitch is swung on and missed for strike three. Fold with the chains up once again. Second straight strikeout for Mathis, and there's two away for Gio Perez, the original pitcher turned shortstop. A base hit, RBI base hit back in the first inning and grounded out to third in the third inning. Pitch to Perez on the ground, right back to Mathis at on the mound. Throws over to first in time for the final out inning. For the first time tonight, a 1-2-3 inning. We'll head to the bottom of the fourth inning. The Titans offense coming back up, leading 15-2. Listening to Maynard New Tech Baseball on the Vite Media Network. New pitcher in for the LBJ Jaguars. Number two, Curtis Johnson. Trying to see if any other changes out there on defense. None that I am aware of. It'll be a three, four, and five due up for the Titans. It'll be Daniel Alden 
Cortez. Correction. You check that. Daniel Alden Cortinez. And Daniel, I apologize if I'm getting your name pronounced wrong. I do my best, followed by Caden Easley and should be Matthew Ruiz, but we'll see as it goes on. You know, reaching twice tonight on an error and a hit by pitch, he has scored twice as well. He sacrificed back in the first inning. Pitch from Johnson shows bunt, pulls the bunt away as that one bounces in there. My scorecard, my scorebook is completely ruined as I have in the third inning, or it's supposed to be the third inning, I have the second inning, and in the fourth and fifth inning, I have the third inning. So I'm actually writing the fourth inning in the sixth inning slot. As Daniel swings and misses at a changeup. Two one pitch is in the air to left field. Castro coming over and now center fielder calls him off as Wiley makes the catch for the first out of the inning. Designated hitter, Caden Easley will step in. Two for three tonight with a couple RBIs. Make that four RBIs as he had an RBI single back in the, a three RBI single back in the third inning, advancing a second on the throw. Uh, pitch misses upstairs. Ramal, no strikes. One-zero pitch. In there for a strike. It's one and one. One-one is popped up. Maldonado coming over can't come up with it. It's one and two. One, two pitch, outside, two balls, two strikes to Caden. As Alex Silva is on deck. Ground ball right back to the pitcher, Johnson up with it, flips over to first in time. And there's two away now. Coming in for Ruiz, Ruiz will be Alex Silva, who Caden was actually pinch hitting for so at the high school level. You can pinch hit for anybody. It doesn't have to be for the pitcher at a level like in college and in the MLB. And on deck will be Carlos, Carlos Hoover, but the first pitch to Silva bounces in there for a ball. One zero pitch, and they're gonna say Silva one around couldn't hold up. One one pitch, Silva swings at a pitch in the dirt. It's one and two. Two pitch, misses outside. Good take by Silva. Two two pitch. That one is fouled at the first baseline.
the 2-2. Two -two. Good take by Silva, pitch in the dirt. It's a full count, Alex Silva. Will be Curtis and Carlos Hoover on deck. Should Silva make it? Should Silva get on? Payoff pitch, pitch from Johnson. Inside that hits him. As the dugout goes wild. You can hear him screaming, it's on, he's on base. So Carlos Hoover will get his first at bat coming in for Braylon Thomas. One on with two outs here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Pitch to Hoover. This is inside. Hoover bat in a certain light looks like it's a wood bat. It's not. I can now see all, all the extra lines they put on it, but it looks like a wooden bat. 1-0 pitch. This is inside to Hoover. It's 2-0. Imagine that in the upper levels. If you can get a metal bat that sounds like a wooden bat, looks like one too. Could gain a pretty sizable advantage. 3-0 pitch misses outside. Three balls, no strikes. Hoover waiting for a 3-0 pitch from Johnson. Here it comes. Way inside that hit him. Second hit by pitch in the inning. With two outs, the inning will roll on. It'll be Daniel Chapa now in for Cyphers. Chapa has pinched run a few times tonight. So Silva at second base, Hoover at first. Every inning so far tonight, the Titans have scored and they have a chance to do so in this inning as well. Pitch to Chapa. And that one's hit up the middle. It's off the glove of Joseph and there'll be no play over at first base. So Chapa with an infield single, Silva moves over to third base, Hoover over to second, and for the third straight inning, though it feels like it's two third straight innings, it could only be one straight inning, or for the second straight inning. The bases are full of Jaguars, as Camden Perez, who has reached three times tonight on a single and two walk steps in now. Pitch to Perez is way upside. to Perez, looks at one, no call by the umpire. Looked like a good pitch there by Johnson. So after two quick outs, the bases are loaded as the 2-0 pitch catches the corner. Fly out on the ground, a two consecutive hit by pitches and then a base hit on the infield. One pitch, swings at a pitch upstairs, and that's going to get on through for a base hit. Silva's going to score. Ball gets away from the right fielder. They're going to hold everybody there. As that one was way upstairs, and Perez swings at it and drives home another run. It's 16 to 2. Titans. Jonathan Maldonado will step in as Hoover moves over to third base, Chapa to second. Base is still loaded with two outs. One run has scored every inning so far. The Titans have scored. Pitch to Maldonado gets away. They're going to hold up Hoover over at third base as the catcher Maldonado was able to get back to that one in plenty of time. As Davian Holloway is on deck for Jackson Williams. 
pitch to Maldonado, misses. No, they're going to say that's in there for a strike. It's one and one. One one pitch is popped up. Will it stay playable? Ramirez coming over and he makes the catch in foul territory for the final out of the inning. Titans score one run. They leave the bases loaded. We'll head to the top of the fifth inning. Our score, the Mayor New Tech Titans 16, the LBJ Jaguars 2. You're listening to Mayor New Tech Baseball on the Vite Media Network. Top of the fifth inning here for Maynard New Tech Baseball. One, two, three, two up for the Jaguars. They trail on this one by 14. It'll be Faye Washington, Gino Perez, and Jeremiah Wiley do up. Some talk around the diamond, whether or not this game will end after four and a half innings, depending on if more runs score. Temperature has really dropped. At East Metro, East Metro Park. There's been no one keeping score on the giant scoreboard out there. Well, it's giant is subjective, but no one keeping score. So I'm happy to keep score myself. And my calculations, looking at my scorebook, it is 16 to 2. And I have to make a correction. I was looking at the wrong spot. It'll be Jeremiah Wiley, A.J. Maldonado, and Curtis Johnson do up. And it'll be 3, 4, and 5. We got the wrong scorebook. Pitch from Mathis misses outside. Mathis had a one, two, three, fourth inning with a couple strikeouts and a ground out. Coming in replacement of Daniel Alden Cortinez. Pitch misses low, two balls, no strikes. Math is ready for a 2-0 pitch. Floats one in there for a strike. Two one pitch is drilled to center field. Williams going back on that one. He won't be able to get to that one and it will keep rolling all the way to the wall. We might see it inside the park right here. Wiley rounding second base. They're going to send him home. The throw to the plate will be not in time. <laughs> it was a very close play at the plate, but Wiley hits an inside the park home run as Williams wasn't back, and the wind may have caught it. What you don't know is that when the ball gets in the air, the wind can catch it and make it go any which direction. Any golfer will know, high wind, the ball will start going one direction, popped up, the wind will catch and it'll just fly it around. 
That's what happened there as Wiley never stopped running, and it was a very close play at the plate. Maldonado will step in. He'll swing and miss at the first pitch. Maldonado with a base hit back in the third inning. Makes the score 16 to 3. A one pitch swung on and missed. It's 0 2. The 0 2. On the ground to third, that one's gonna stay fair. Daniel up with a big throw to third base will get away from the first baseman, Thomas. As a throwback to second base will get away once again. As Maldonado reaches on infield single, advancing over to second base on the throwing error by Daniel. Alden Cortinas. So back-to-back -back batters have reached for the Jaguars you may see a new pitcher come in to replace Mathis. Actually, he was coming off the mound, and the coach told him, no, 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 no. Get, get back in the mound, get back in the mound. So we'll see a pinch runner come in for, well, now that'll be Gary. Conversation on the mound now. So back-to-back -back runners have reached. Wiley reaching on an inside the park home run. Maldonado reaching on a base hit and an error, putting him at second base. So Curtis Johnson will step in now. Still no one out in the top of the fifth inning. Mathis remaining on the mound. Pitch to Johnson. Bounces in there for a ball. As 1 0 pitch misses inside. Gray over at second base and replace pinch hitting for Maldonado. Johnson shows bunt, takes it back, takes one, it's three balls, no strikes. Rio pitch misses. Johnson gets on with a walk. Third straight batter to reach against Mathis. Now bring up Ramirez. Pitch to Ramirez is hitting the air to right field. It backs up Perez, still going back. Now it's gonna land in foul territory. It just kept on drifting. Been very fortunate there for the Titans. There's Hutchins over the plate, the 1 0 pitch. Now it's going to be fouled at the plate. It's 0 2. Two on with no one out in the top of the fifth inning. 0-2 pitch to Ramirez. That one's going to stay fair up the third baseline. Stay fair. Now it's going to roll just foul. As Daniel picks that one up. I thought for a minute there he may have picked it up in fair territory. And wisely lets it roll foul.
Pitching Ramirez in there for strike three. <laughs> Mathis picks up his third strikeout. Big first out of the inning. And that'll bring up Davidson in replacement of Dimas. Titans trying to close this one out. Pitch to Davidson is swung on and missed for a strike. It was up to the umpire's discretion whether or not he wants to call this one after five innings. Either way, I'll continue to sit here for the entire game. As a one pitch, this is inside. Go back over to second base, will be not in time. Very close play, almost getting Gary over at second base. As Stewart ran all the way around. Gary at second, and from Aunt Johnson at first. On one pitch, he has popped up and out of play. Gary was on the move on that one. If I go to second base, not in time. Johnson has shortstop Cypher keeps the tag on. One out in the top of the fifth inning. Jaguars trailing by 13 to the Titans. One two pitch on the ground. Cypher is up with it. Throw over to first base will be in time with the second out of the inning. Gary moves on over to third base. Johnson a second. And it'll be Castro. Castro reaching on the fielder's choice and struck out back in the third inning. Pitch from Mathis to Castro is fouled at the plate. Oh, one pitch. And they're not going to call a strike on that one. It's one and one to Castro. A 1-1 one, one. upstairs. It's a 2-1 count on Castro. Gary over at third base, Johnson at second. Two outs in the top of the fifth inning. Titans leading 16-3. The pitch will get away from Stewart, and Gary will stay put over at third base. It's a 3-1 count to Castro. As there's no one in the on-deck circle, for the Jaguars. No one with a bat in hand. A little bit interesting. The 3 1 hit in the air to right field. Perez going back, still going back, and that one's going to get over his head and he'll cut off right before it gets to the wall. Two runs score easily as Castro with a two RBI double makes it 16 to 5. As Gary scores and Johnson scores, that one just sailed on him. On the right fielder, Perez. As now we'll have Bisco stepping in now, who mentioned earlier was not on the on-deck circle. Reached on a walk back in the second inning and struck out in the fourth. Bisco fouls one back. Bisco 
Pitch from Mathis. That one just misses outside. The 1-1 one, one on the ground. Cypress up with it. Long throw to the first base is going to get away from the first baseman, Thomas. And another run's going to score. And what would have been a tough play over at first base, it's now 16 to 6. Four runs have come across for the Jaguars. Back at the top of the order, it'll be Faye Washington. Eighth batter to the plate for LBJ. And they close this one out and potentially a run rule game. Pitch is swung on and missed and the pitch in the dirt, it's 0-1 on Washington. Bisco over at first. The 0-1. Inside, it's one and one. Malachi Mathis is a one one pitch, is swung on and missed. Throw back over to second base, gets away from the center fielder as Bisco will remain over at second. One, two, upstairs, two balls, two strikes to Faye Washington. Two, two pitch, just catch the piece of that one. So Washington stays alive. The 2-2 pitch, misses outside full count now to Washington. Gio Perez on deck. Titans trying to potentially run rule. The LBJ Jaguars leading by 10 runs. Payoff pitch inside ball four. Ninth batter to the plate now for the Jaguars, Gio Perez. RBI single back in the first inning. He's 0 for 2. He's 1 for 3 tonight with a couple ground outs after that. He was caught stealing also in the first inning. So runners at first and second. Bisco at second and Washington over at first base. Malachi Mathis delivers a pitch to Perez. It gets over the head of the throw to first base. Will be in time for the final out of the inning. <laughs> Let's see whether or not they're going to call it there. They're going to discuss it. And that's the ball game. <laughs> the Jaguars make it interesting in the fifth inning, scoring four runs. But the Titans score early and often, winning this one by final of 16 to 6. Let me get you over to Titans scorebook. Let me just tell you some of these numbers right here. If I can really add them up, because my goodness, there's a lot to add up here in the five innings of work. I'll just fire up this one. I mentioned before, they busted my scorecard a few times. In the second inning, I've had to go over to the third inning. The third inning I had to write in the fourth and fifth inning, where normally I would write there. That's what the third inning I wrote down. And the fourth inning, I wrote the fourth inning where the sixth inning would be in my scorebook. So that kind of craziness is going on. I scored, obviously, 16 runs. And those 16 runs they had, let me add them up real quick. My goodness, one. Two, three, four, five, excuse me, one, let me try it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12. They had 12 hits, 16 runs on 12 hits. And with that, they also had a total of one, two, three, three walks, if my math is correct. And they were hit by a pitch, a grand total of four times in this game. I did not count the errors. Well, I should have been. Because that would have been interesting to keep track of as well. So Daniel Alden Cortinez comes in, pitches four innings, correction, three innings, and then Malachi Mathis closes it out in the fourth and fifth inning as the Titans finish this one 16 to 6. That'll do it from us here at Mesh. If I can get the words out of my mouth as at East Metro Park. My name is Brian Reed. And reminding you, as we are done from here, to please wash your hands, please wear a mask, please stay safe, and I will catch y'all next time. Thank you.